What's happening, hey, people? Everybody we are back in the, in the building again. Every time make it hot. Trying to make sure. 2021 our best year ever. I don't know. That, 20, yeah. that 2019 was a good year. But before we get into that, clap. It's what we're here to talk about. Ooh. Hands don't even hurt. You say that. You say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a lie. That was some real <laughs> clapping there. Oh, man. Ooh. Today, we are here to talk about none other than the correlation between the comic book and the movie. How much of those need to be together? Like, how much of the comic book does the comic book movie have to take? For it to be authentic. Or for you as a comic book fan to say, I like that. They said they were using this uh, comic book storyline. They used it. They did a great job. How much of that comic book storyline do they need to use for it to be like, you know, they used it correctly. That was a great You're talking story. about animated or just or live action? But we're going to go live action first. Live action? Live action first. Okay, fine. Because animated doesn't count. Animated, you have to use it word for word. Animated, I don't care what you say. Animated, it has to be my, exactly in the comics. My original answer was, whatever percent DC came up with in the animated movies, <laughs> that's, that's what, what you're going to do. <laughs> that's I my agree. original answer. Okay. But then I thought about other stuff. So I'm going 75%. Wow. 75%. That's and I'm gonna tell you way why. higher than me, but okay. And I'm going to tell you why. All right. The premise of the of the story mm -hmm. has to be exactly from the comic books. Okay? That has... The premise of it can't change. Okay. You want to change details within it to make it work whatever universe you're in? Okay. That's cool. fine. Okay. But the premise... Like, for instance, Civil War. The premise was heroes on one side, heroes on against the other side. They both have right and wrong reasons, mm -hmm. and they're just going to, and they clash, and it ends up in the fight. That's the premise of it. Now, if you want to get the, you know, then you got to have Captain America versus Iron Man. Mm -hmm. and, you gotta, and, you gotta, and they got to be a legit thing. But if you, but the premise has to stay the same. Heroes fighting heroes. Rights versus, you know, identity, whatever. Each one, each one was different. Uh -huh. But they had to be fighting for a reason that was both right and wrong at the same time. Okay. okay. And people taking it too far. Okay. Like when I, like in the comic books, when they actually killed, was it Giant Man? Was it Giant? Or, was it? And they had a, and they died. Really big and had to build a huge grave. Disrespectful. Sheesh. Oh my God. He had to make a clone Thor and he killed a guy. He yeah. can't control it. Oh my God. Yeah. But 75%. 75. 100% of the premise has to be in it. 75. Bare minimum. 75%. Like, I'm, I'm really worried about this flashpoint from DC. You know, they killed a black person in both of those civil wars. Did not sit well with me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He did. That, and look, that's that twenty five percent you, you change in the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even, even though in Civil War they, they paralyzed the black guy, even though he should have died. You can't you can't fall that far that height that fast in a metal shoot with no no slowing down and survive. I don't care. They what killed, they killed him in the comic. They did Civil War two. They, they killed did. Him. They they killed him. They he's, killed him. He's alive now though. So. But they killed him. They did. They, he was dead. 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 Body and everything. But I'm sorry, you're interrupting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I keep interrupting your thing. I just, but yeah, it has to be 75%. I believe 75%. 75 is high. 75%. That 25, you, it, it can get lower the more, the more, like for instance, the MCU had stars out 75. Right now, you can go low as 50 because you build up everything else and you got to make it fit in what you built. But if you're starting and you're not 12 years in the game, 75. 75. I'm a 50. My personal 75. opinion is 50, maybe 55%. All right, break it down. I'm Break it down. I, the general premise is enough for you to follow and you to stick with it. If you decide to switch characters as long as they stay within the parameters of the general premise, it's fine. So, like, for instance, with Civil War, the generalness was it has to be Iron Man, it has to be Captain America. And it has to be their fight or both heroes fighting against each other for purposes that they see. Each of them has to justify each reason. And you have to see and understand whatever reason they, they fight for. That's it. That's it. That's 50% that's of your story pretty much right there for Civil War. And that's 50% of the 
of what has to be in there. That was it. Okay. That's how I see it. That's your example is also my example, of Civil War. Yeah. And that's how I that's how I pertain to Winter Soldier. The, the movie Winter Soldier versus the comic, you know, the Winter Soldier Soccer. Seven gotta be Bucky. Yep. Gotta be Cap. Yep. Gotta be Hydra. Yep. Gotta be Mind Erase. Yep. Got that, that's your fifty percent right. Gotta there. had a gun on the back. That <laughs> they did have that though. Yeah, had a gun on the back. Yeah. Gotta go gotta go hard. That's a smart. Gotta go hard. Action scenes they gotta did. be like Jack. Gotta yeah. be amazing. And those were some of the best action scenes the MCU and you know has what, ever you know done. What I, you know was, what? I think I counted and it was like 15 minutes. I think it was like a 15 yeah. minute between each uh, action scene for uh, Civil War. Yeah. I mean, uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Had, it had so Winter many Soldier, great... Winter Soldier is my favorite MC movie, MCU movie of all time. It's better than, I, I believe it's the best. I think between them and Infinity War, it was like between action. It was like a 15 minute gap between action. It was talk, 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 action. Talk, 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 action. It was like, you, it was like you, a you 15 know who did, minute interval. You know who did both of those movies? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The they were great. They're great. They're great. They're great. They, know but I, is, they know how to do it. But the other 25%, your story is like the, the 50% of the story, right? Yeah. The other 25% for me is stuff that happened in the comic books action wise. For instance, in Civil War, they showed you the shield uh, Iron Man shooting his uh, lasers at Captain America's shield. He's blocking his shield. Mm. And show Iron uh, Captain America about to, look like he's about to kill Iron Man. Mm. Which is, I mean, they showed these things. Civil War. Fuck, he looked like he stepped right out the pages. He looked like he stepped right out. Like, I'm here. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. That was more like 95%. But either way. <laughs> I'm saying. Either way. It was there. That was so ridiculous. Yeah. That movie is so great. I saw another level. That was more like 80%. That, that other 15% was just him adding like a video game. But either way, mm. my gosh, that, that, that's amazing. I, Scott Pilgrim vs. World is the greatest comic book movie of all time. We'll have another debate about that later. Greatest comic book movie of all time. What the comic accuracy for the movies is what we're talking about. And this man says 75%. And I am at. 50, I can go with 55%. Here's what, here's what, here's my example, right? Batman versus Superman, universally, as oh. audience, listen, just listen, listen, just listen before you roll your eyes, oh my gosh. Damn. Listen yeah. to, just listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. For the majority, for some reason that I don't understand, y'all don't like the movie, right? Right. Look how far that is away from the comic. Because it wasn't meant to be made. It wasn't it's, it's, it's even, just look how far. I don't think. I don't think the masses were going to accept something like right. that. No matter. If you want the masses to like the the masses like, it has to be at least seventy five. The twenty five percent is the dumbing it down for the people who don't know. Then it shouldn't be converted over. That's a, the simple thing. Is that not well, Batman? Every, Batman versus not Superman's every, original movie. Not not everything. Not everything is able to be adapted into the live action. Uh, especially when it comes to comic books. And that is one of them. Like, the biggest issue, like, I'm an anime fan. Anime, no anime in my... There's very few, I can't say no. Very few animes that can be adapted into live action. Very few. There's, there's like, a 5% that can actually do it. There's just 5 there's, And nobody's actually ever done it that well. That makes it zero. It, it, that way. Even the most main, well even, even the most mainstream one, they debacled. And that was uh, Dragon Ball Z. That wasn't the most mainstream one. I'll that, name right. another more mainstream. Death Note. It's not more mainstream than Dragon Ball Z. But debatable. It's not debatable. In I, the, okay. In the anime community. In anime, yeah. That's not an anime. Mainstream is outside of the community, brother. Not when it comes to live action anime. <laughs> this, this is what I'm saying. Avatar. No, it's not more name man than Dragon Ball Z. And they, look what they did to the Avatar movie. Either way, look what they did to it. Yeah. Like not, so like I not, say, not adaptability, not adaptability. But back to comedy. But back to comedy. Not, not everything. Just because it's a great story doesn't mean it could translate into live action, and that's the problem. You say seventy five percent. I say fifty percent. I. It also factors in: is this digestible to the mainstream people for a live action? Can we pull this off to the point where people believe this? See, this everything? is the problem I have. If you got to keep taking this off and this off and this off and this off to the point where just so you can make it compatible to make it a, a movie, then you're not really telling a story or you're not doing that good job of a story. So you're saying and you end up you end up with something like uh, 
But Wonder you, Women eighty four. But you're but you they, they went too far. But you got but see my problem with yours is you're taking away you're only allowed to take away twenty five percent. You said seventy five percent of the movie has to be like the comic, right? Which means only twenty five percent can be taken away, which is like ridiculously I might, low. I find it. I might go sixty five percent. I give you another ten percent. If that makes you feel, better. I might go seventy seven. I might go sixty eight percent. Sixty eight percent. That's the lowest I can go. I thought I could go sixty five. It's it struggle saying it. Sixty eight percent. I could go sixty eight percent. But the major, the reason why these stories are good enough for people want to make it is because of the story. So if you take half of the story or half of what makes the story, then at that point, I believe it don't become good enough to be made. That's that's where it is. I thought Civil War was a fifty though. Civil really War was not fifty. Civil War was the definition of me, of me personally, of taking seventy five percent. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, it was literally the definition of taking seventy five percent because everything about that story was in the comics. Was in the comics was in the movie except for the the actual thing. Like they were fighting over the accords. They were fighting for a registration act. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Which something they got? They changed that. They changed around. that. They yeah. changed that. That's only like a two percent because it led to the same thing. Right. Okay. The other twenty five, they didn't have it. They didn't have all the hero, the amount of heroes that they did in the other one. So that's only like five percent, but it was the same presence. I, the side, side A, side B, hero, hero. Okay. Okay. I, feel, you know I, I still say, I say, I thought you guys let us know in the comment section how much of the comic book of Civil War versus the movie was put into each uh, was adapted. How much of the comic book was adapted into the movie for Civil War? The twenty five percent to me is that the actual details that really make a story go over the top. Right. That's what the twenty five percent of it is to me, because you got to take that away. Because every time you for that, like, every time you read, you talk to somebody about comic books who don't read comic books, right? And they ask you about the movie, and they say, "Oh, is it like this in the book?" And you be like, "It's more in the book, right? Mm -hmm. The book goes yeah, more yeah, detail." Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that twenty five percent I'm talking about. Okay. That's the twenty five percent I'm talking about. The boys, you know, TV show. You gonna read? They only took about seventy five percent. They took the most gross, gruesome seventy five percent of the good. <laughs> They only took about 75 percent. Twenty five percent out of they it. They did a great adaptation for that for the TV show, but you got a lot and more work. They they did some excellent work around with that. And then that second season, excellent. they took a little more than that seventy five percent away, and it wasn't as good as that first season. I feel like that way. Like uh, like sixty five percent is more like actually I think 60, 50 and sixty five percent is like what they did when they talk about Game of Thrones and stuff. Like between the book and that, like Game, Game of Thrones is like 50, 65. I never read Game of Thrones, so I can't, I can't. Oh, it's a lot different. There's more, more characters in the book. I just way more characters. Don't know. I don't but know. But like, like, just like in the Civil War, there was way more superheroes and everything. But in the Civil premise War was still the same, though. That's why I say it's like, 50% for, but look, like for That's instance, where I get 50% from. For instance, that's 25%. Like, this is a big part. In the Civil War, the comic book, right, Spider-Man revealed himself as Peter Parker to everybody. Right? That was like a big thing in the comic book. And that was like one of the big major points of the story. Yeah, and this one was the opposite. They revealed him as right. being in but the But you know MCU what the same thing is? Still Spider-Man. Still a grand entrance. That's like a 50% of for me. That's not a 50%. That's 50%. We, we, had that. we took it in there. That's a 50%. We gave you Spider-Man, which you never had before. But instead of him revealing himself, we revealed him in there. That's a 50% for me. It's not 50 That's more We like gave it. you Spider-Man, but instead of we giving you spot, Here's Spider-Man. He's supposed to be the big twist of of doing this in the comics, which is a big thing in the comic is him revealing himself. But instead of revealing himself in the movie, we uh, debut him as being in the MCU. Yeah, see, that's so not, that's, that's fifty percent for no, me. See, fifty percent for me would be him not being in it at all. Just like just like a good most of the twenty five percent is not having a whole um, what's the dude name for Fantastic Four? Reed Richards in it at all. Mm. Okay, that's a big part. That's a big chunk of that seventy-five percent. I mean, of that twenty-five percent. Not having Reed Richards in there at all, because if you look in the comic book, Reed Richards was like um, he was he was pretty much the brains of the operation when it came to backing up Tony Stark. Yeah, but you got to work with what you got. So I'm not denying that. So but what you have, what you should have, is at least at bare minimum. Because I did say I'll go down at bare minimum sixty-eight percent. That's what you should at least have. You guys let us know in the comment book in the uh, comment I said the comic book section. Let you guys let us know in the comment section what you guys believe uh, 
How much, how much percentage wise do you think a uh, comic book movie should adapt from the actual, the original comic book storyline? Sixty-eight percent, minimum, I, minimum. I, I say fifty to fifty-five percent. That's too low. It's, it's, it's got to be adapted to a live-action movie. You got to factor in whether or not it, you can actually pull it off, and it's believable. It's got look when you make stuff live-action at to a percentage. It has to be, especially for the audience, it has to be believable. So I take out that 25% of the detail. That, 25%? That 25%. That all that stuff, like, that's going to really happen and stuff like that. That's why you're taking it out. That's exactly why you're taking it out. I'm at 50%, which is why Rose, 50%. Rose that's why War Machine lived. 50% is what gets you Wonder Woman. 25% he would have died. 50% is what gets you Wonder Woman a hero, would have, a hero would have died in there like they did in uh, the comic book. 50%, died. 50%, 50%, no, died. 50% nobody dies. Explain to me how he doesn't die, though. Explain, just, just, explain, just to, me, explain to me how all of a sudden MCU is not known for killing heroes all of a sudden would just kill somebody like that. No, no. It, 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 that. We're going to save that for the big, big movie. This, this was a lead up to the big movie. That's a fair point, but still, I, he should have died. Just, just like, just my, my, my physics, but just my physics, he should have died. Just, just physics is not apply. Freaking Spider Man even said that the, the laws of physics doesn't even apply to that shield. That shield should not be able to do that. It can't just he throws he it so he hard doesn't one know. time that he it just, sticks in one piece of metal, but another time he throws it, it bounces off another piece of metal. It's called angles, brother. <laughs> it's, it's not called angles. angles. It's called Wakanda <laughs> angles. <laughs> Physics, <laughs> my brain is magic, baby. The laws of physics do not apply on certain tosses, but the other tosses he right. does. Because you if you look at the toss that it bounces, it's tilted a little bit. Nope. So it hits the brown nope. part. <laughs> when you toss it, it's up, he gets a little angle that way. So they hit the, the <laughs> If you're with me and physics just completely does not apply in comic books, you know, hit that like button. Okay. But when he throws it <laughs> and it's sticks to something, he throws it at a at an upward angle so that so the edge of the shield is We're going to look up later to see if somebody actually did that to see if they made a YouTube video I'm about to do this shit of the right tosses. I'm about to do it right now. Of, of Captain America's tosses because, man. Oh, how come his toss when, uh, didn't go through uh, Bucky's uh, arm when he threw that sucker? Hey, brother, that's... that's but that other one, when he threw that sucker, that shield stuck right into the dang old car when he threw that sucker. That car metal is nothing like the arm metal. Let's, just, let's stop okay, it right there. That might be true. <laughs> let's, 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 true that. Let's, let's cut the malarkey now. 50, 50% is all you need. 50% is what I believe is all you need for a good adaptation. That's why I think Civil War did. Civil War 60, was like, take Civil that War out. was like 6, 70%, take, take, bro. Explain Vision. They they had to dumb down Vision because we know Vision is like legit only power. They use, they real use, power they use Vision. And everything. They, they use Vision the same way they use, they try to use Thor in Civil War where like, uh, he's our big he's our big muscle guy. So we say him to the end when we, when we really try to change the battle. Where's the mic? I need to drop that shit. Except he did. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they changed it. That's that was another part of the twenty-five percent. Okay. 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 Robot and robot, I guess. Yeah. If Thor was a robot in the comic book and Vision is a robot. That's about it. No, not at all. Y'all let us know in the comment section how y'all feel about today's. Feel like I'm right. Feel like I'm right. If you feel about today's topic, uh, hit that like button if you like what you see. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications when our next video is dropped. Until next time, we out of here. Y'all check out the hat. Live y'all best life. Read comic books every day. We see I hate the snow. Time. We out. Deuces. Yeah. 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 We in the club, we party. We in the club, we party. Yeah. Yeah. How much ice you got? I don't know. Get it, nah. all this man. I cannot mess like I am the ace. Electric keeps you, then I leave you with after shot. Getting angry, then I turn her incredible hog. Bite and bog. Chop it down like you one of them stars. Take your girls, then I turn her into shawls. I'm Xenoblade.